It is on the last Friday, the 20th May, 2021, which also coincided with my being in office as Chief Justice for one year, that we in the judiciary, all the 130 court stations, set aside the day for prayer and fasting. On behalf of the judiciary, I'm exceptionally indebted to the organizers of this prayer breakfast for keeping this country on a trajectory of prayer and renewal for the last 19 years. We in the judiciary stood in the threshold to seek for forgiveness and offered confessions because we have not been able to meet the expectations of Kenyans as far as justice is concerned. We confess that we have delayed justice. We confessed that we have let murderers and other criminals go scot free. We confessed of all our shortcomings and invited God to walk with us as we continue to transform this country through the vision that we unveiled uh, that we call uh, transforming the judiciary through access to justice, social transformation through access to justice. Allow me now to pray for the nation. I stand here this morning to pray for our nation, Kenya. Our Father, we recognize Kenya belongs to you and you bequeath it to all the 50 million of us like you did to your chosen people in the Bible. We are confident like your children and the way you assured your children in the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, that the plans you have for us are to prosper us and not to harm us. You have plans to give us hope and our future. God, we ask you to keep our country, Kenya, safe during this electioneering period and subsequent transition in leadership at both the national and county level. Father, in this particular season, being a time for contestant electioneering, I pray for those who might be tempted to divide our nation for their selfish reasons. We join in one accord to play against the spirit of fear of violence that is related to erections. Let no Kenyan be subjected to violence. Let no Kenyan be displaced or lose their property or loved ones due to electoral violence. Father in heaven, as all the religious leaders are planned, you gave us a good country, but we are always brought it when it comes to erections and erection violence. Father, we ask that you reveal yourself to those who incite others to violence or cause violence and teach them the values that we derive from the Bible and are restated in the Constitution. Father, remind them of the values of respect for one another that I would like it to be done unto myself the way I would like it to be done unto the other, so that we may all embrace peace. Let everybody know this country belongs to all of us and not to politicians, and no one has a right to rob another of their peace and dignity. Our Father, I pray that the campaigns will be devoid of name calling, but they will be issue oriented are not personality driven. Lord, may you make each one of us an instrument of peace. May we have peace in our hearts, our places of work, and even at our homes. Hold back the hands that kill. Hold the hands of those who maim. Hold the hands of those who abuse others. Touch and transform the hearts that eat because your spirit gives us power to love and self-discipline. Lord Almighty, may you transform us and remove any elements of hatred and vigilance amongst us. 
Father in heaven, I bring the people of Kenya before you and ask that you give us confidence, give us hope and insight to pursue and seek that which is just, to seek peace and further to coexist in harmony. May you transform each one of us into agents of peace, agents of justice, to work towards the construction and resolution of conflict wherever they occur. I pray that no Kenyan will incite another to violence, and whenever there are disagreements further, we will seek for fair and just resolutions according to the rule of law and not turn to extrajudicial means. Father in heaven, I pray that there will be peace throughout our land and that the love that has been discussed in this room this morning might be lived out so that the candidates not only care for those on their teams, but that there might be a supernatural anointing for all the candidates to care for those even from the opposing sides. Even those who will not emerge as winners, Father, as we have been told, the winner will be one. The positions are there, but it's only one who will win. We pray that, God, you will comfort those who do not win, and, Father, that you will renew their faith, that you are still their God, and your plans for them are good, even outside the elected positions. And that in your usual masses, Father, even those who do not win, you will give them alternative means of livelihood and heal their spirits. Almighty Father, I pray for the institutions involved in the electoral process to discharge their mandate with integrity, with honesty and fidelity to the Constitution and our laws. I pray against the evil spirit of corruption during voting. I pray against the spirit of fraud and deceit. I pray that the electoral justice shall prevail and the best candidates will be the ones that will carry the day. But those who will steal their elections, Father, you will smoke them out. Our Heavenly Father, provide your light that shines all the time and sees where mere mortals cannot see. And let it be your light that is the one that guides us. Let your light shine in all our institutions. Let it shine in, our sta in the hearts of those who serve as state officers, as public officers, and all involved in the administration of elections. I pray all the institutions of governance will be guided by you, Father. All our leaders and all those who serve the nation in various capacities. We remember those who are in the security for our nation, those who are providing us with health, those in education, and all those who are delivering one service or the other to your people. I pray that, God, you will fill them with the spirit of love, wisdom, knowledge, and the spirit of discernment so that they can serve your people with grace and dignity as we respect one another as your children. May you, Lord, grant this your workers wisdom to make decisions that accord to the mandate donated to them by the Kenyan people, and may we serve according to your will. Grant us the courage to discharge our mandate without fear or favor, to make decisions that uphold your spirit and your principles and also uphold our constitution for the common good of our nation. Father in heaven, as I hand this prayer, I wish to invite all of us to the ones of our national anthem as we play, O oh God of all creation, bless this our land and nation. Let justice be our shield and defender. Let us dwell in unity, peace and liberty. Let plenty be found within our borders. Let one and all arise with hearts both strong and true. Service be our earnest endeavor, and our homeland of Kenya 
heritage of splendor, firm may we stand to defend. Let all one, in one accord, in common board united, build this our nation together, and the glory of Kenya, the fruit of our river, fill our hearts with thanksgiving. Amen.